please stand for the national anthem, please? Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Good morning. My name is Lucy Hurls, and it is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to the Centerville High School graduation ceremony and celebration of the class of 2022. On behalf of my class, I would like to thank all family, friends, and faculty for your attendance this morning. We are gathered here today to celebrate not only the end of something great, but the start of something new. Four years ago, we walked into Centerville High School, but we sure aren't the same people walking out. We learn with pleasure and never forget as we take our next steps into the world. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Seniors, you have a commencement program at your seat. This is a commemorative copy for you and your family. Parents, family, and friends can access the program by scanning the QR code shown on the jumbo screen. I wish every one of you the best of luck in your new journeys. Thank you, and thank you, Koopa Top. A few years ago, I read a children's book that changed my life, and today, I want to share it with you. The book is titled, The Horse, the Boy, the Fox, and the Mole. The story is about four characters who go on a journey to find their way home. And along this journey, each character speaks their emotions, which truly inspired me. There's three lessons I learned that will forever stick with me. The first lesson, the boy asks the horse, what's the bravest thing you've ever said? And the horse replies, help. Many people are afraid to ask for help because they may appear weak. But asking for help is not giving up, it's refusing to give up. As we take on a new journey after high school, there'll be times where the road gets rough. But the bravest thing you could ever do is ask for help. It's OK to fail, it's OK to fall, and it's OK to ask for help. No matter where this road takes us, asking for help is not giving up, it's the refusal to give up. The second lesson, 
The mole tells the boy, one of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. Isn't it crazy that the only thing people see is you from the outside, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Every day, we're presented with some type of conflict. Whether it's you lost your toothpaste, lost your keys, or got in an argument with a friend, you're the only person who can dictate your reactions. Although you may be frustrated in the moment, take a step back and see life from a different perspective. Ask yourself, will the way I feel now be the way I feel forever? No. Your time alive is going to be full of ups and downs, but the frustrations or pure joy won't last forever. Finally, the third lesson I took away was when the four characters were nearly to the end of their journey, but are unfortunately starting to get lost in the woods. The boy looks up to the horse and says, I can't see a way through. The horse replies, well, can you see your next step? The boy answers, yeah. And the horse says, just take that. As we all embark on our own new journeys, it's likely we'll get lost along the way. Instead of looking further than we can imagine, focus on the next step. Each step, whether it's forwards or backwards, you're progressing through your own journey. When the dark clouds come, just keep going. The time will come, but it's the little steps we take that will take us there. And the next step we may take could be one of the biggest. And I couldn't be more grateful to represent you as your class president. My name is Arnold Fitzharris. Lastly, I would like to thank a few people who have helped me each step of the way. Thank you to all of my teachers. You've assisted and taught me so much, whether it was math equations, old English, or real life lessons. It's allowed me to step up here one last time and deliver a message. Thank you to Mr. Dalton and my class advisors, along with all of my fellow student council members. Each of you have pushed me to become a better person, leader, <coughs> and student. And lastly, thank you to my family and friends for showing me love and kindness. Thank you to the class of 2022 for creating lifelong memories and everlasting friendships. Thank you, Centerville. Good morning, graduates, teachers, staff, family, friends, and siblings who were probably forced to be here. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Krisha Bolle, and I'm your student council vice president. Just four years ago, we stood together and took our first steps into high school, some of us a foot shorter than we are now. Each of us started our own paths by wandering around Centerville High School and getting lost in the hallways we now know by their questionable smells. As we look back at our time at CHS, we remember state championships, days off due to water contamination, spirit days, coming back late from lunch almost every day, the bonds we made in Spanish Five, and for those of you that know, Clarkulus. The days that turned into all-night study sessions, followed by busy weeks and months, and even the very slow-moving days of lockdowns and online learning somehow seem to have blurred by. Four years have gone by in a blink of an eye. As we gather together one last time, let's take a second to pause and take it all in. It's important that we soak up life right now because in a few months, our lives will be completely different. Most of us have spent the last 13 years together and now it's all finally coming to an end here at graduation. After today, we will embark upon 653 different pathways to the future. Whether that's going to college, continuing a sport at the next level, working, military service, or whatever else you might have planned. Life goes by quickly. We may not be continuing on the path we initially intended to be on, but things tend to work out in the end. Even when life challenges us, it's still important to pause and take a look around us, because as soon as you know it, you'll be looking back to see how far you've come. We must put down our phones and be intentional in looking around us, noticing the people that matter to us, and making memories to carry with us. While the future is bright and exciting with its countless opportunities, living in the moment provides us with the best memories surrounded by the people we love. The things we look back on now from high school are the things we could miss out on in our future if we don't pay close attention. So, thank your parents this week. 
let your great aunt tell you her stories from college, or let your grandmother make you her favorite dessert one more time this summer. Hug your friends, thank your favorite teacher, and when you feel nervous about that next step, remember where we were together four years ago. No matter what you choose to do, make sure you take breaks to soak up the moment. As Ferris Bueller once said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. Congratulations, class of 2022, and good luck on your future endeavors. I can't wait to see where life takes us. Thank you. Yesterday, I was living at my parents' house. I blinked and things changed. Fast forward and I was moving out. I can only exist in three dimensions at a time. Through them, night, a resist a river flowing left to right. It's like we've been dancing. Life's in our glass, shattered on the floor. Oh, it'll never be the way it was before. Feels like yesterday I was falling in love. Then came the heartbreak like it always does. Nobody escapes it, time's a losing game Might as well embrace it till it flies away I know that nobody can stay forever young I wish I could just take a break from growing up It's like we've been dancing in the dark A great big expansion In a flash, slipping through my fingers, life's in our glass, shattered on the floor. Oh, it'll never be the way it was before. The way it was before. Over in a moment, finished in a flash. Slipping through my fingers, moving way too fast. Wish I had just a little more. It'll never be the way it was before. Good morning. As superintendent of several schools, I would also like to thank all of the parents, extended family members, and members of the Centerville Washington Township community for joining this graduation celebration for the class of 2022. Seated on the stage tonight, or on the stage with me are members of the Board of Education, and also on the stage are all the members of the high school administrative team. These individuals, along with the entire Centerville School staff, work tirelessly each and every day to make sure that the education you receive in Centerville was the best it could be. I know we have not only high school staff here, but other district staff in attendance today as well. Please just join me in showing your appreciation for all of the staff here celebrating with us today. Now, class of 2022, let me congratulate you on achieving this great milestone, high school graduation. 
I know that all of you have had a very different high school experience. The last several years have been hard, and I would like to thank all of you for having the courage to deal with the many challenges presented to all of us through the pandemic. Please remember that none of us succeeds alone, so please do not forget those significant people who have helped you along the way. You know, over the years, I've learned a lot about servant leadership, and I'd like to take just a moment to share some important thoughts which guided me to focus on what I think is really important when you work with others. So as you begin the next phase of your life, I hope you will appreciate the following comments. Here they are. If you're thankful, show it. If you love someone, tell them. If you're wrong, admit it. If you're confused, ask questions. If you learn something, teach others. If you make a mistake, apologize. If you trip, get back up. If someone needs help, help them. And if you see wrong, take a stance. So class of 2022, remember to always do your best, stay positive, believe in yourself, and inspire excellence in everything you do. Congratulations to all of you, and best of luck. Thank you. Okay, this is a lot scarier than I imagined. I just want to thank everyone for giving me this opportunity to speak. And I feel very privileged to be standing here in front of you today and for you guys putting up with me for the next five minutes. It's been four long, fantastic years. And I attribute every minute of this experience to the wonderful people here. First and foremost, thank you to all the teachers for supporting and encouraging our education. To Mrs. Karstens, who fueled our interest into anatomy. To Senora Lopez, who made Spanish a class to always look forward to. And to Mr. Clark, who swamped us with calculus assignments. We still love you, Mr. Clark. Thank you to all the other administrators and staff for making our learning environment possible. Thank you to all the parents for, without your support, we would not be in the Nutter Center today. And finally, thank you to the students for our pride and sense of community. To Yash Agarwal, Lewis, Luke Wisniewski, and Larry Zhang for contributing to our academic atmosphere. To Ryan Lampy and Natasha Meehan for making Centerville Swim a blast. And to Jack Dravenstadt and Josh Bemis for the endless good times and entertainment. Once more, I am thankful for every one of you. When Mr. De La Torre asked how my speech was going, I nervously laughed and said, yeah, it's going great. And the minute I got home, I began hurriedly writing the speech. So I began to think, what were this year's notable moments? And what I came up with was, well, there was the very last semester exam, which happened during our sophomore year. There was the super fun online learning and the emergence of the game among us. And in classic Mrs. Willett fashion, I asked myself, what is the significance of all these events? Well, I'm sure most people are relieved at not having to stress about the soul-crushing exams, and the wonderful online learning was just painful. Among Us is more interesting. However, in the game, you often have to make decisions based on limited and often unreliable information. And those decisions seriously impact whether or not you win. And there's no way to undo mistakes if they happen. Fortunately, Among Us is, in essence, just a game. Whatever happens in it does not affect our daily lives. Unfortunately, this game is kind of similar to life especially in terms of decisions. How do I pick a career if I don't know I'll be good at it? Will I be able to pass this test if I go to Basketball Wednesday? Shout out to Liam Uhouse and Ryan Kiefer, by the way. And finally, when should I drink a chug jug in this Fortnite game? 
Decisions are also important in social interactions, since people usually don't exhibit their entire personality in their first impression. You would need to use the traits they present to see if you both are friendworthy. For example, you probably wouldn't get a full impression of Jacob Spaulding if you saw him playing hot potato with his computer. And decisions you have made allowed us to be in the building today. And whether it be intentional or not, we have all have had a tremendous and influential impact on one another. And I could say that I, myself, would not be who I am today without you guys. Thank you, Centerville, for this indispensable time has been among us. Thank you. Hello, it is my absolute honor to stand with you today as your class of 2022 valedictorian. Fellow students, <laughs> fellow students, teachers, and administration, I recognize that some of you may think this award is pointless or unfair, and that's okay. I get it. As most of you know, a choice was made this year to remove class rank for the classes that come after us. I shared my thoughts on this decision with the school board back in March, so I'm not going to waste your time talking about this issue here today. What I really want to do is celebrate us, celebrate the good, because we are the class of game changers, and I want to thank those who changed the game for me. First of all, Mrs. Karstens the most positive person in every room she walks in, and that stuck even when she was tragically diagnosed with breast cancer a few weeks into freshman year. One day, Mrs. Carstens came in with a red dyed wig that she accidentally ordered instead of a brown wig. Funniest thing, she continued to wear that wig for months, thinking it was so funny. Every Tuesday, the class outside of her room gave high fives to students and teachers walking by, but she did not want to touch their hands in catch an illness. I guess that makes Mrs. Karstens one of the first ever CHS social distancers, even before COVID came along. She would sprint past the students' high, high fivers every week chuckling. Mrs. Karstens taught me how to use humor and a positive attitude in order to get through whatever life throws at you. Thank you, Mr. Swan, for letting me stay in your AP microeconomics class when you found out I was just a sophomore. You taught me the world of economics that I will continue to live in for years. Thank you, Mrs. Regal, for becoming my second mom at school, and I apologize for the earfuls you have had to hear when I stopped by your room before seventh period with my complaint of the day. I would also like to thank three of my closest friends. Thank you, Allie Thornton, for never being afraid to tell me that I'm wrong, but for also being there for me no matter what. You're the strongest person I know, and I love you. Thank you to Brandon Moe and Aiden Burley for keeping me sane during club and school volleyball seasons and for becoming my brothers. And lastly, my parents. I would never be standing here without my parents. One, they gave my sisters and me incredible genes. And two, for raising me in a household that values hard work, education, and exploration. My mom taught my sisters and me to be explorers. There's nothing my mom hates more than, why do we need to know this? Or is this going to be on the test? She developed in me this love of simple learning, whether it's naming all the countries, diving into a random, random topic, or watching every movie ever. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you to my dad for teaching me that life will always continue on. He once told me that no matter what happens one night, no matter the situation, Get up the next morning, put your kids on the bus, and go to work. The world does not stop for you. The world does not stop for me. You can't sit back and wait for the world to care about you because it's not going to happen. You have to care about your world. So yes, I'm proud of us, but we as humans should never be content. Instead, always growing and improving. If there's a class that's going to change the world, it's our class. 
COVID, online school, state champs and multiple sports, having to be out of the band lot by 310, having to sign into the office and being marked hardy, even if it's just 751. A heated school board election that actually made national news. We've done it all at Centerville. We have the tools to go on and be, whatever this means to you, successful. We have the tools, the question is, will you use them? And I think that you can and you will. Invest in yourself. Do not settle for anyone or anything. Grow your spirit, travel, embrace new perspectives. In my opinion, we're at the age where you wouldn't rather be any older or any younger. So why not start now? At some point in life, you're going to have to pursue a passion simply for you. A lack of passion will yield absolutely no meaning. And yes, it's selfish. But do anything to discover that passion and live your life to foster it. Because how can you fight for someone else if you don't even know what you're fighting for? So even though I'm leaving you with the title of a Mac Miller song, please keep in mind your own self-care. You deserve it. Focus on bettering yourself simply for you so that we'll each gain the ability to change the lives of others. With that earned achievable ability in each of us, together, we can conquer anything. Thank you and congratulations.
slide will bring it down. Hello everyone. Um, before I begin, I want to say thank you to the teachers, the parents, the administrators, and most importantly, shout out to the MVPs, our cafeteria staff and custodian team. So today's ceremony is less of a pat on the back for us graduates. Um, but more of a celebration for the people who dared to civilize us, feed us, and had the pleasure of changing our diapers. So when writing this speech, I couldn't help but picture you all, class of 22ers in shining black and gold. And I wondered, who are we really? Who are we beyond the titles, the labels, the XYZs? Let's start from the beginning. Can I tell you how adorable children are? A friend of mine once said, when I was little, I can never sleep with the curtains closed because I needed the moon to see me so she could make sure I was okay. Like, so cute. Don't get me wrong, when children are having a crabby day and all you want is for them to wear their seatbelt and as you reach over to yank it on, your head bonks on the top of the car and then all bits of cuteness are off the table. But, but regardless of crabby days, I think we often forget how dorky humans are. Take Immanuel Kant, for example. This dude was one of the most important philosophers in Western history, and he was as serious as serious gets. Every day, he had a routine so strict and perfectly timed that the locals around him didn't use a clock to make plans. They scheduled their plans around where Kant would be during the time of day. One of Kant's self-imposed rules was smoking one pipe a day. One pipe, no more. But the thing is, if you look at the size of the pipes that Khan smoked across the years, they got bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah, here you have a guy who looks like he has it all figured out, and even he wasn't quite all the way there. So when we stumble into adulthood and find ourselves thinking, I don't think I belong here, I think it's worth remembering that people are dorkier, cuter, less threatening than they appear because we are all fundamentally human, imperfect beings. And rather than striving to conceal our flaws, take pride in them. Because the thing is, flaws are awesome. Flaws are humbling. Flaws remind us of who we are before all of this. There is this part of you that has existed since you were a child. The wonderful child who folded paper airplanes with fingers hot and sticky with Capri Sun Try to remember your childhood hands and hang on to that memory as you go forward. Hang on to that sweet, luminous part of you that wasn't afraid of being wrong, of being weak, of being mediocre. Let it return to you and disarm you in its warmth because in the long run, it comes down to the fact that no matter who you are, you belong here. You are nothing short of human, you are nothing short of priceless. I want to say thank you and I love you to my oma, my appa, my little brother Hamin, and the class of 2022. Congratulations, stay cute, and travel safe. Good morning and welcome class of 2022, families, members of the Centerville, Washington Township community and guests. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of the impressive group of young adults that make up the 132nd graduating class of Centerville High School. I'm so grateful that we could return to the Nutter Center so we can invite more people to this program and come together as a school community with our families and friends to celebrate you. I'd like to start by wishing happy birthday to Jacob Walther, Mia Evera and Nicholas Roden. Happy birthday.
It's a pretty good day to have a birthday. The senior class officers chose back and better as the slogan for this year. They were back in the building and committed to being better than ever. These leaders were driven to provide the best leadership opportunities for the student body, even in the face of the challenges and the adversity of the COVID-19 pandemic. They worked diligently to maintain our standard of excellence and carry on the legacies of leadership and service to our school community. I'm incredibly proud of the entire class of 2022 for their persistence and their resilience during the last four years. I'd like to take a few moments to highlight the achievements of the class of 2022. In academics, 227 students earned an honors diploma, 373 students earned academic distinction, 14 students earned a President's Education Award for Achievement, 207 students received the President's Education Award for Excellence, and we also congratulate the top two students in the class of 2022. Jay He Bay, if you, you guys could come up. Jay He Bay has earned her spot as a salutatorian with a final GPA of Jehi will attend Yale University to study sociology and biological anthropology. Congratulations, Jehi. <laughs> and leading the class with academic distinction is valedictorian Kevin Whitehead, graduating with a final GPA of 5.1759. Kevin will attend Princeton University to study economics. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's and Jay's GPAs and intellect are impressive, but getting to know these students better over the years, I'm most impressed by their overall talent, character, leadership, and commitment to service. Good luck. We have five students enlisting in the military and two military academy appointments. If I could have these students stand, please. We have Charles Schlade as the Air Force, Jad Gabin, Ohio National Guard, Craig Bucalo, Brendan Reed, and Aiden Taylor in the Navy. And special congratulations to Jack Drabenstadt and Keegan Terhune on their appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Please stand. Uh, something special happened. They're going to be joined by Blake Edwards, CHS class of 2021, who was also recently appointed. And that makes all the appointments from our region to the U.S. Uh, to West Point. Centerville Elks, congratulations. In arts and performing arts, our programs had another outstanding year. Students were performing in front of live audiences again. Our band, after being on hold for a year, was finally able to participate in the Thanksgiving Day Parade at Macy's. Forte's recording of Levitating select, was selected to appear in a compilation album of Best of High School Acapella 2022, and all of our music programs continue to receive superior ratings for OMEA, resulting once again in the recognition of Centerville City Schools for being a best community for music education. Our theater productions highlighted the talents of our students and included Clue, Kodachrome, and Cinderella. I'm grateful that we were able to have live audience at full capacity and enjoy the talents of our students at the art shows, concerts, dance, and theater productions. 
In athletics, Centerville High School captured the GWAC All Sports Trophy for the 45th time in its 46 year history. We had outstanding team and individual successes this year, winning 13 GWAC titles, seven district titles, two regional titles, and with two state runner-ups and one state championship. State qualifiers included girls and boys cross country, girls golf, boys bowling, boys basketball, and boys soccer, and girls gymnastics. Boys basketball and boys soccer were both second in the state, while boys bowling were the state champions. Congratulations. Seniors earning individual state recognition include Chase Harrison, Cameron Smith in football, Allison Colopy and Drew Betcher in soccer, Anthony Conti and Brenda, Brendan Salo in bowling, Nick Gers, Keaton Haugen and Ryan Lampy in swimming, Luca Kuna and Damian Ryan in wrestling, Tom House and Rich Rolf in basketball. And our, yep. And we're not done, because the boys baseball team, the boys and girls track team, and the volleyball team are still going. So congratulations and good luck to all those still competing. <laughs> Many of our academic programs have competitions too, and our seniors once again dominated the competition. This includes our business program, engineering program, environmental science program, information technology and marketing programs, uh, Science Olympiad, Ocean Science Bowl, Destination Imagination, and Speech and Debate. They all found state success and had many national qualifiers. Congratulations to you on all your accomplishments. I want to thank our coaches and trainers and administrators and nurses for managing all the protocols to keep our community safe and keep these programs thriving. Congratulations to all our athletes, performers, coaches, and directors on a job well done and a highly successful year. Speaking of success, every successful group has a support network. And I hope we, you can join me in expressing our gratitude for this group of people, our student council advisor, Mr. Mike Dalton, and senior class, off, senior class advisors, Mrs. Brianna Kearns and Ms. Brooke Dahl, for their leadership and commitment to the class of 2022. <laughs> And at the very top of your support network is a servant leader who's worked tirelessly for students, families, and staff for 42 years, the last 13 years as a superintendent of Centerville City Schools. Graduating with the class of 2002 is super Superintendent Dr. Tom Henderson. <laughs> Graduating sounds better than retirement, right? Yep, okay. Good. Uh, Dr. Henderson, we are very grateful for your leadership and we wish you well in your future adventures. Joining Dr. Henderson in his retirement this year is Ms. Sanders, Mrs. Lonsert, and Mrs. Cooch. We appreciate them and we will miss them. I'm also grateful for our outstanding senior class officers, our President Arnold Fitzharris, Vice President Krisha Boley, Business Manager Lucy Hurls, Secretary Elton Chow, and Senior Cabinet Members Zoe Lamb, Kevin Whitehead, and Alexis Thornton. Also Board of Education Rep Members Gabriel Kearney Vogt, Amina Waze, and Zoe Lamb. You all exhibit exceptional leadership this year and it's been a joy to work with you all. A special congratulations to Zoe Lamb for being nominated by her peers through the Centerville Education Foundation's Hall of Fame inductee as Outstanding Senior Student. Good job, Zoe. The Education Foundation also recognized Mr. Dan Stacy with the Excellence in Education Award. Mr. Mr. Stacy came to Centerville High School to teach engineering with the idea that it would be a short-term assignment before he returned to engineer, engineering. But he fell in love with Centerville High School and teaching, and has 10, 20 years later, he can't see himself doing anything else. So we thank Mr. Stacy for sharing his unique talents and for all the problem-based learning he provides our students.
This year, the class of 2022 led the student body in collecting $52,100 for our spirit chain charities, Angels for Anna and Agape for Youth. Over the past 36 years, the students of Centerville High School and Fairmont High School have raised a total of $2.5 million for charity. I'm extremely proud of you for your commitment to your communities. I'd also like to recognize our outstanding uh, leaders of the herd for a great year. We had our last We Are the Herd chant in the back, back gym here just a little bit ago. Thank you to Tom House, Lucy Hurls, and Kenna McQuillan, and Brian Muller for keeping the herd engaged, organized, and energized. Each year we do a senior survey and we ask the students to share some experiences and the people who've made a difference. Uh, I wish I could include them all because they're great. Um, but I picked a few. Nevea Haskins, Amara Jane, and Gracia Garcia Rodriguez are all grateful for the life-changing leadership experiences they had as drum majors for the Centerville Jazz Band. Evan Menno and Jonathan Woolley are grateful for Mrs. Johnson Taylor for constantly making her business classes engaging, relevant, and connected to the real world. And Malaysia McElroy recognized her South Unit Counselor, Mrs. Beth Buck. When she asked about the best advice that she ever received from a staff member, Malaysia said anything out of Mrs. Buck's mouth. I'd like to say thank you to a special person, to Johannes Dirigi. Every time something difficult happened here at CHS, I called on our students to unite and lift each other up. Johannes would, every time, Johannes would send me a note or a card or an email pledging to do whatever it takes to make CHS a better place. Johannes, I'm grateful you, for you and I want you to know you inspire me. <laughs> class, of, class of 2022, I hope you'll remember the last lesson, there was a lesson we reviewed in our meeting. Side note, you still have homework. Uh, but no partial credit, but the good news is there no, there's no due date. Uh, I'm proud of you for your resilience and your focus and your strong finish. And I, with your teachers, coaches, counselors, and other principals, uh, along with your parents and families, will be continue to watch and waiting and adhere to your future accomplishments. Wherever your path takes you, I hope you take your all pride with you and build a community that you can be proud of. On behalf of the district staff and faculty, I wish the class of 2022 the very best in all you do. Mrs. Let's do it one more time. It's fine. We can keep clapping for him. Mrs. Sparks, the class of 2022 has left its mark on Centerville High School and the Centerville Washington Township communities. These outstanding young men and women have completed all the graduation requirements of both Centerville High School and the state of Ohio. And as the proud principal of Centerville High School, I recommend you accept, accept these members as candidates for graduation. Supports, please come up. Come on, you guys, hurry up. Where's Elliot? You are totally away. This is way scarier. <laughs> Twenty-three years ago, I sat there in the middle section. Back in 1999, Elks were organized by their last name and not by their advisories as you are today. To my right was Patrick Mullinger, a boy that I had known since elementary school. And to my left was a boy that I had never seen before. The dress that I had bought did not come with any pockets. A crime by today's standards, but not uncommon in the 90s. So Patrick Mullinger held my tissues as I cried during parts of the ceremony. He was my support that day as we looked on to the unknown together. 
A few months earlier, I had been sitting in the classroom of Darren Smith, a teacher who became one of my most trusted adults at CHS. I was, I was scared to death about the same unknown that I was facing after graduation. I confided in him that I did not want to leave my home and go on to college. I was scared. I wanted to play it safe and keep my job as a McDonald's manager. Mr. Smith made me fill out the OSU application because he knew I worked too hard those past four years to play it safe and that I had potential. I was accepted to The Ohio State University and left that fall. I did not return to Centerville until I had a master's degree in hand. By this time, Centerville was no longer my safe place, but my home where I belonged. I will always be grateful for that support Mr. Smith gave me during that very scary and confusing time in my life. Find your support people. Some of these people you will have your entire life. I was very blessed to have very supportive parents, even though from the ages of 12 to 22, I was convinced they had absolutely no idea what they were talking about. I will let you in on a little secret. Your parents know more than you give them credit for. <laughs> Listen to them and learn from their wisdom. Also, get to know them because you never know when that support will be gone forever. Some support people you will meet along the way and they stay with you for the rest of your life. It does not matter what crazy idea I come up with, my husband and my best friend always support me and stand behind me. They are the bend to my Jerry's. You need people like this in your life. Some support people you will, you will have in your life just for a season. I have been very blessed to have my priest, Father Patrick Sloniker, and my boss, Mrs. Molly Galowski, to be amazing supporters as I navigate on life's path. Both individuals are moving on this summer to new adventures of their own. I know I will still have their support, but it will not be the same as me poking their head into their office and saying, hey, you got a minute? I am sure you can relate. How many teachers have you asked this same question to over the past four years? Some support people are here just for a season, but that does not make them any less important. I would now like you to take 15 seconds to think about the support people in your life and all that they have done for you. In the words of my hero, Mr. Rogers, I will keep the time. Who did you think of? Here is your very last high school homework assignment. Go home and reach out to those people. Call them today and thank them. If you are not able to think of anyone, please come see me after the ceremony. I want to thank the support people that I had today. Thank you to those who are in attendance, Mr. Darren Smith and Mrs. Molly Galowski, Patrick Mullinger, who is streaming this from Colorado, and I would like to thank those who are literally standing behind me. This is the scariest thing that I have ever done. And with all of you, I never could have done it. Thank you for supporting me. Congratulations, CHS Class of 2022. We love you and we support you.
Kevin Scott Whitehead. Arnold James Fitzharris. Jay He Bay. Krisha Bole. Carter Jamison Ballone. Lucy Jean Pearls. Aaron Rachel Gebhardt. Elton Yu Chow. Esther Ann Bright. Zoe Mara Lamb. From the East Unit, Mr. Baird's Advisory, Noah Jack DeCurtins. Alexis Corinne Thornton. Hannah Gauss. Gabriel Andras Coraini Boat. Aaron Christopher Gross. Amina Wasse. Quinn David Hafner. Now introducing Mr. Bell's advisory from the South Unit, exactly. Yaren Madeline Lee. Jack Michael Hardy. Samuel David Martin. Keaton Jack Haugen. Gabriel Armada Martinez. Michael James Hayes. Paul Nicholas Mays. Abigail Marie Hayes. James Patrick McCafferty. James Christopher Hen. Malaysia M. McElroy. Caden Xavier Hine. Aiden Connor McGowan. Riley Joseph Riggs. Hank Anthony Merman. Octavia Kathleen Hoag. Ava Grace Merriman. Lillian Carol Holliga. Ellie Joanne Miller. Molly Suzanne Holloway. Lo Robert Logan Miller. Spencer Fon Rong Mang. Eric Carsl Carlson Milner. Damian Maurice Ryan. Ali Mohammed. Simon Jeffrey Taylor. Garen Paul Mowat. From the South Unit Mrs. Bames Advisory. Chase Thomas Harding. From the West Unit, Mr. Bowersox Advisory, Natalie Grace Adams. Kayla Elizabeth Hughes. Cameron Scott Adrian. Mark Edward Inbody. Yash Agarwal. Francesca Marie Irwin. Sabahat Asan. Banesh Nikesh Jaini. Bushra Mufta Akrush. Preston Ellis Jason. Alexandra Nicole Apolito. Neha Chowdhury Jasti. Riley Frith Asher. Haley Catherine Jang. Yelsaveta Asher. Tyler David Job. Brad Asasu Elu. Benjamin Franklin Jones. Annie May Amelia Baldwin. Hunter Joseph Jones. Kiana Elizabeth Baylog. Joseph Stanley Jones. Maxwell Thomas Bean. Evan David Kellner. Rebecca Carol Getty. Thomas Andrew Kernan. Samantha Renee Green. Gage Allen Kettlewell. Haley A.V. May Hurst. Timothy Joseph Lofthouse. Introducing Mr. Carey's advisory from the West Unit, Spencer Jacob Brown. From the East Unit, East Unit Mr. Brown's advisory, Evan Robert Mino. Morgan Natalie Burney. Evan Michael Phelps. Kobe Daniel Castor. William Henry Potter. Emma Grace Fry. Kate Elizabeth Rash. Dominic Michael King. Karsten Lee Reddig. Natasha Lynn Rao. Nicholas John Roden. Mara Rose Reynolds. Emily Morgan Rosner. Lindsay Joanne Rivera. Richard Messier Rolf. Nathaniel Christopher Rojas. Elena Maria Rudat. Zane Douglas Roop. Noah Ethan Rush. Jadel Andres Sandoval. Nevea Sai Sandlin. Elizabeth Ann Schneider. Sitha Lakshami Sarvanan. Juliana Rachel Scott. Tyler 
Hudson Sawyer. Paris Cherie Center. Isaac William Schultz. Lauren Leanne Seymour. Catherine Elise Schwabe. Samuel Kenneth Schrader. From the South Unit, Mrs. Daly's Advisory. Benjamin David Ellinger. From the East Unit, Mr. Klein's Advisory. Ryan Patrick Evans. Kaylee Elizabeth Ellis. Adrian Benjamin Fosu. Bradley Tyson Fisher. Natalie Inga Frazier. Joseph Dyer Forbes. Avery Stephen Fries. Hannah Grace Folk. Jay Lee L. Garay. Victoria Elizabeth Francis. Tyler Joseph Garcia. Braden Cole Faruya. Gresh Grecia Raquel Garcia Rodriguez. Yaslin Isabel Gatan. Jad Abdelhraman Gaben. Morgan Alexandro Gatto. Zuhair Gauss. Lauren Rebecca Gaco. Griffin Christopher Gerard. Jacob Donovan Gillespie. Sarah Gabrielle Glass. Jameson Toy Tamar Gilmore. Allison Paige Gleick. Benjamin Campbell Gomez. Lucas Christian Grant. From the South Unit, Mrs. Dole's Advisory. Nathan Jeremiah Korczynski. William Matthew Griefer. Joshua Cal Kovacs. Canyon Noah Grimm. Ashton Carter Kynette. From the South Unit, Mrs. Ducro's Advisory, Owusa David Inoma. Keaton Kenneth Lang. Zane Stanley Greenberg. Kendall Marie Leonard. Shigyasa Gupta. Lauren Gail Leslie. Julian Michael Gwynn. Victoria Paige Lewis. Addison Marie Harris. Roberto Andreas Leva. Nevea Renee Haskins. Zoe Noel Liss. Christopher Jordan Hayes. Samir Lohana. Jenna Grace Hayes. Chad Antonio Lugo. Sydney Anna Heckman. Georgia May Lytle. Travis Roger Hick. Shreya Mataretti. Taylor Joe Hinkle. Luca Marin. Madeline Mega Hodges. Morgan Elise Martins. Trent Allen Holbrook. Alexander Ambrose Martin. Benjamin Aaron Porowitz. Aiden Ryan Taylor. From the West Unit, Mr. Gobrail's advisory, Alyssa Taylor Adkins. From the East Unit, Mr. Irwin's advisory, Elena Francette Bukowski. Catherine Naomi Bolby. Mo Martin Akal Bach. Kayla Isabella Caldwell. Braden Allen Balzer. Asia Soleil Horenziak. Grace Michelle Cowell. Ilgreen Ishimwe. Alexa Danielle Dilly. Anelia Marie Miller. Jarong Ding. Alexis Noel Moore. Claire Michael Marie Earl. Jacob Walter. Robert Joseph Eberhard. Zachary Kaj Ware. Adam George Edwards. Seth David Warren. Alexis Julia Epstein. Nathan Lewis Wozniak. Miguel Manassa Espinoza Allen. William James Wuich. Caroline May Finer. William Henry Zienko. 
Grace Inez Fisher, Aiden Michael Zink, and Cecilia Fleischer. From the East Unit, Mr. Harper's advisory, Brooklyn Marie Middleton, Isabella Marie Fortman, Jacob Tyler Morrison, Ella Grace Grow, Brian William Muller, Anna Michelle Kaufman, Grace Mumby Moraithi, Caleb Michael Kaufman, Ashton David Music. From the West Unit, Mr. Gassaway's advisory, Aiden William Brogan, Libby Marie Myers, Lindsay K. Frost, Rachel Evelyn Myers, Phoebe R. Cannon, Kyle Lou Wynn, Jack Richard Drabenstadt, Obuta Stephanie Obetta, Saranda Alexis Easterbrook, Adrian and Lane Olson, Excel Obimba Eberinga, Bhakti Jayesh Patel, Ali Samir Elion, Tyler Allen Panucci, Colin Wayne Ellingson, Eros Charles Perdomo, Ying Shi Jean Eubanks, Timothy Tam Pham, Catherine Irene Filson. From the South Unit, Mrs. Johnson's advisory, Carmen Sophia Alaga. Alaga. Mahala Cheyenne Fisher, Zane David Allen, Charles Joseph Francis, Carson Vincenzo Amarante, Jordan Alexandra Gage, Benjamin Logan Apley, Lauren Elizabeth Gardner, Ahmed Awalid Atta. From the South Unit, Mrs. Kristen Johnson's advisory, Ashley Alicia Hodgson. Christopher Michael Adkins. Ava Celeste Kincaid. Grayson Gerald, Gerald Adkins. Yathita Elena Rivera Hill. Maya Catherine Avery. Jackson Alexander Rothbauer. Aaron Mitchell Baker, Dominic Mackey Rowland, Trevor Daniel Barber, Evan Michael Runyon, Ashley Helen Bechtel, Brendan Jacob Salo, Joshua Raymond Bemis, yes, Colin Charles Sarver, Shidella Demery Bennett, John Schlade. Cougar Jace Boland, Sophie Claire Schluter, Dylan Matthew Dean, Kiernan David Schultz, Brodick David Basera Wright, Molly Lynn Scott. From the South Unit, Mr. King's advisory, Dion Kamari Adams, Lucia Patricia Seaton. Isabella Zochanitsi Monzon, Nathaniel Scott Seymour, Lana Joellen Mullins, Heidi Elizabeth Shelley, Nicholas Brian Merlin, Kayati Chingal, Catherine Patricia Myers, Nicole Stephanie Sitaw, Alexander Simon Naples, Manluck Bathok Seer. Sophia Claire Nation. From the West Unit, Mr. Klein's advisory, Lindsay Boo. Tracy Naup Wing. Samin Fatima Gauss. Lauren Kennedy Oliver. Nathan Allen Klein. Jake Douglas Pollock. Gage Edward Simon. 
Michaela Jalen Payton. Heaven Sink. Benjamin Scott Persinger. Jacob Walter Spaulding. Madison Marie Fuel. Emily Elizabeth Stanforth. Jameson McCall Porritt. Nathan David Staten. Noah Xavier Porter. Carson Kenichi Sutton. Pratik Raju. Nolan Kincaid Sakura Young. Jack Angelo Reed. Luca James Tancredi. Brendan Crosby Reed. Abigail Lynn Thomas. Hold on. From the South Unit Advisory, Mrs. Lopez. South Seth Nielsen Bamer. Brooklyn Nicole Thompson. Derek Andrew Bora. Megan Caroline Thompson. Elena K. Brooks. Ethan Cole Trout. Samantha Ann Brothers. Caden Connor Van Buren. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Bucklew. From the East Unit, Mrs. Manfredi's advisory, Quinn Patrick Anderson. Haley Marie Beeler. Gwen Elizabeth Baker. Mackenzie Elizabeth Burr. Adam Robert Becker. Claire Lauren Bush. Megan Louise Hapner. Matthew Hikaru Carlisle. Larry Aritha Harris. Aria Miashtuta Carter. Allison Elizabeth Hayes. Emily Nicole Copper. And Elise Grace Heider. Jack Boone Cawthon. Jonathan Reese Houston. Taylor Michael Cole. Amanda Bailey Hunt. Richard Anthony Lockinger. Sabrina Jane Ingram. Rebecca Grace Schluter. From Joel, Joel Robert Irvin. From the West Unit, Mr. Mitchell's advisory, Isabel Grace Burns. Amara Carr Jane. Matthew Stephen Gerhardt. Liam Michael Uhas. Anthony Isaiah Harris. Harleen Carr. Ashlyn Serenity Long. Sarah Dashti Kavadaki. Salvatore Anthony Morrow. Cyrus June Kim. Margaret Joan McNamara. Madison Lee Kim. Willasia Danielle Milliner. And now for Mrs. Manning's advisory in the central unit, Carolyn Grace Adkins. Connor Matthew Monturo. Gracie Jean Bowser. Brandon Tyler Moat. Mallory McGuire Carr. Ryan Adam Mount. Kaylee Lauren Day. Riley Patrick Nielsen. Sean Patrick Downs. Emma Kalani Starkey. Caitlin Marie Dubois. Mia June Venanzi. Sophia Marie Dahl. Jaden Christopher Wellsworth. Brooke Leanne Dunnigan. Now introducing from the South Unit, Mrs. Monahan's advisory, Sarah Zainad Ahmad. Aubrey Stella Hilliard. Stuart Leary Buckus. Lauren Amanda Hoyle. Colin Jackson Becker. Abigail Rose Chiata. Audrey Marie Brothers. 
Janie Caitlin Mossick. Lindsay Grace Berger. Alexis Christina Megary. Kyle Jeffrey Dawson. Natasha Faith Meehan. Luke Michael Fullenkamp. Laura Ann Nielsen. Hannah Gabrielle Golden. Elizabeth Rose Sullins. Matthew Connor Grablin. Rakaya Day Chip. <laughs> Brianna Elise Tullis. Micah Benjamin Grunberg. And now for Mr. Mitrovich's advisory in the West Unit, Hannah Dimitri Boboya. Thomas James House. Ruyun Fang. Ryan Zachary Kiefer. Michael McGrady Kuntz. Lila Rose Kenny. Alexander Rice Lamb. Lily Irene Kitsaro. Connor Allen Lawson. Epsager Kotapuri. Jessica Lynn Ligon. Brody Michael Levine. Aaron John Lacra. Sydney Alana Mates. Brandon Matthew Long. Kenna Haley McQuillan. Jenna Rain Lopez. Calista Lee Mitchell. Alyssa Lynn Lauer. Shimwe Sonia Mugi Ranaza. Sorry. Danielle Elizabeth McConnell. Isabel Perry Mumal. Khalid Mansra. Emmanuel Marco Roy. Makai Eugene Marshall. Megan Elizabeth Taylor. Brogan Taylor Mason. Luke Everett Voss. Ethan Garrett Mason. Now introducing from the West Unit, Mrs. Ray Pox Advisory. Luke Anthony Acuna. And now for Mrs. Montour's advisory, Samuel James Galloway. Samantha Adams. Tiffany Gaselle Gill. Noah Otterman. Maya Catherine Hoff. Mackenzie Marie Andrews. Dwayne Tyler Krull. Morgan Riley Bookmiller. Gregory Dean Lamb. Jenna Elizabeth Halbeck. Danasia Nicole Seams. Lilia Kate Hammett. And now for Mrs. Oliver's advisory in the East Unit, Andrew Philip Betker. Chase Michael Harrison. Heaven Anaya Marshall. Gregory Keikoa Harrison. Madison Alexis Marvich. Macy Elizabeth Hayes. Morgan Lynn Massey. William Joseph Hoffman. Troy Michael Mazey. Corey Allen Holbrook. Caleb Jackson Maurice McComas. Jason Richard Holloway. Rachel Serenity McGarvey. Jaslyn Renee Horton. Hunter Wilson McManus. Angelica Rose Houston. Michaela Kathleen Messer. Quinn B. Howard. Brooke Aline Miller. Eleanor Grace Herrin. Lee Patrick Miller. Now introducing from the South Unit, Mrs. Redmond's advisory. Nicholas Edward Gers. Nicholas Paul Miller. Hannah Jane McGuffey. Sydney Ann Monbeck. Avery Elizabeth Silverberg. Allison Jean Moore. Madeline Elaine Spearing. Lance Thomas Morgan. Paige Victoria Squibb. And now for Mrs. Otto Advisory in the West Unit, Miracle Armani Bennett. 
Samantha Michelle Stein. Kate Biddle. Devin Lee Floyd Taylor. Zihao Chen. Olivia Suzanne Tezar. Anaya Marie Cohen. Abigail Ray Tullis. Eric Coleman. Audrey Corinne Van Shagen. Benjamin Nicholas Compton. Molly Jean Verstrat. Anthony Conti. Adam Hendry Vondrell. Nathan Charles Couch. Joseph Thomas Young. Lillian Joe Cruz. Now introducing from the East Unit, Mr. Schoolers Advisory, Sydney Lane Locascio. Jeffrey Adam Crocello. Ian Roma. Jake Leisure-Mang Donofsky. Hannah Joy Rowland. Christopher Martin Dixon. Abrar Adele Salem. Sean William Doyle. Nicholas Davis Turner. Ryan Evan Lampy. Nathaniel James Van Beisterveld. Anaya Darshell Stroud. Gabrielle Elizabeth Menda. And now for Mrs. Ranke Advisory in the East Unit, Hannah Naomi Adams. Nathaniel James Menda. Lillian Ali. Gabriel Stephen Walter. Lilia Allred. Luke Nathaniel Weller. Connor David Arnold. Joshua Andrew Welsh. Robert David Beeler. Joseph James Whipperina. Shad Asamenen Ben Kali. Wyatt Parker Wood. Jackson Tavis Borgening. Jonathan Grant Woolley. Connor James Boring. Zane Michael Worrell. Bailey Jared Brown. Addison Elizabeth Yunkin. Colin Hadley Bruner. Brene Leanne Zachary. Lizette Marie Vasquez. Laura Jane Zipes. Aiden James Burley. Now introducing from the South Unit, Mr. Spalding's advisory, Sarah Elizabeth Biggs. Alyssa Talia Burke. Keb Stephen Garrett. Emma Roseanne Burks. Genevieve Mary Powderly. Sage Kaylee Cabazos. Charlotte Danielle Tournay. Eliana Jolene Covington. Sophia Bihang Wong. Jasari Kaliuka Gazan. Quinn Marie Watercutter. And now for Mrs. Schmidt's advisory, Hannah Diana Aldanabi. Tara Marie Alalegre Weathers. Sydney Scott. Addison Olivia Weeks. Magdalena Rose Seaton. Jessica Nicole West. Cheyenne, Jonathan Lee Wick. Cheyenne Shaw. Paul Jacob Wilkins. Jackson William Sakura. Christian James Wilkinson. Zoe Lynn Sink. Nolan Robert Winfield. Nikitha Shivishin Carvel. Luke Robert Wisniski. Aaron Patrick Smith. Jacob Evan Wusti. Maria Grace Smith. Trinity Ann Yelton. Jamie Lee Spittler. Shalini Yurabandi. Ian Matthew Staker. Larry Lee Zhang. Adjersh Sarish. Sarah Grace Zamuda. Camilla Ann Takahashi. Nicholas Glenn Zumberg. Ella Grace Temple. 
Now introducing from the West Unit, Mr. Stacy's advisory. Are you Micah? Micah Daniel Crouch. Keegan Patrick Terhune. Henry Robert Gabalek. Madeline Elizabeth Thomas. Kenzie Scout Gaydash. Nicholas Andrew Tipple. Jonathan Paul Gillard. And now for Mr. Summerlot's advisory in the West Unit, Sophia Valeria Braginski. Olivia Rose Golke. Aliciana Elias. Sarah Nicole Godshaw. Bennett Victor Inman. Amon Jane Boyle. Samantha Esperanza Jackson. Maximilian Matthew Green. Srinath J. Prasad. Frederick Harrison Guerin V. Connor Dean Johnson. Isaiah Guzman. Tanmay Yadav Jalyu. Ariana Cheyenne Renee Hall. Preeti Caravel. Sierra Catherine May Maddie. Shelby Elaine Kemp. Colin Spalding. Ryan Alexander Kosla. Sophia Stelliu Tapa. Tristan Matthew Klump. Ethan Daniel Nitz. Haley Jenna Corvax. Michael James Condritz. Nathan Edward Smith. Andrew Cal Kovacs. Zachary Mitchell Storms. Sahidi Kunasetti. McKenna Lee Thompson. Isabel Scarlett Laidley. And now for Mr. Allery's advisory in the West Unit, Craig Douglas Bucklow. Daniel Scott Langdon. Addison Grace Dobson. Olivia Lynn Latham. Jade Marie Hines. Kevon Desmond Lawrence. Joshua M.G. McLaughlin. Kendall Shea Lieberman. Mohammed Amar Mustafa. Justin Emery Lloyd. Natasha Maya Narainen. You want to go to her? Diana Lopez. Emma Rose Nasmacher. Nathan Charles Lokai. Emily Rose Nichols. Abigail Grace Larie. Eric Allard Palacios. James Andrew Lisney. Brennan Michael Pauli. Noah John Mangan. Nicholas Joseph Perez. Noah Ross Marks. Eliana Renee Phillips. Grant Warner Martin. Elizabeth Starlene Prosais. Now introducing from the East Unit, Mrs. Wright's advisory, Abdul Ravaif Assad. Owen Michael Ralston. Joshua William Bachinski. Cameron Jaden Smith. Benjamin David Cameron. And now for Mr. Bacar's advisory in the South Unit, Allison Kate Colopy. Daphne Helena Cannon. Caden Michael Combs. Anthony James Gennaro Karasuni. Noah James Corbin. John Ryan Chamberlain. Sean Michael Cotton. Aisha Nassar Chandra. Jake Edwards Cummins. Yanu Chen. Owen Anthony Curie. Molly Carter Klein. Tristan Jacob McManus. Finley Marie Coglin. Johannes Dereji. Rachel Carmen Kohi. Rishi Desai. Tyler Thomas Cole. William Nathaniel Duzer. Alex Allison Combs. Riley Elizabeth Del Filippo. Veronica Ann Corbin. Bryce Connor Deniji. Isabel Cox. 
Alexander Ivan Vicoli. Rex Daniel James Cunningham. Tatum Christopher Early. Jacob Earl Curtis. Abigail Grace Elliman. Mitchell Lamont Cutler. Eric William Hoffman. Alexis Rose Dean. Michael Jakari Nixon. Jacob Darrell Wallace. Okay. Got it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> my name is Zoe Lamb. It is my honor. It is my honor to present the class gift from our graduating class of 2022. We have been collecting recycled plastic for a while now, and we are excited to announce that we will be donating um, picnic benches and their platforms made from that recycled material. Uh, the benches will be scattered around campus for people to gather around and enjoy. We are thankful for everything that Centerville has done for us, and we are really looking forward to this new edition. Thank you and congrats, grads. Hello, my name is Alexis Thornton, and I've been given the honor of leading the graduating class in the turning of the tassel. Um, this day signifies a new beginning for all of us. Um, in addition to earning our diplomas, we have earned the right to be associated with a very special group of individuals. People who have lived within minutes from us, grew up with us, failed, succeeded, and learned with us these past 12 years. As those few minutes apart quickly turn into hours in the coming months, it's hard not to be overcome with a bittersweet feeling as our chapter at CHS comes to a close. But I remind you that your book does not end after you leave here today. You will reach new heights, find your passions, make lifelong friends, and create memories that last a lifetime. While the bonds that you've created in high school with students and teachers alike may change, they don't have to end. And I think that's pretty exciting. So graduates, if you would please rise. As we move to a new chapter, please join me in turning your tassel from the right to the left. <laughs> All, right. All right, you guys may now be seated. Allow me be, to be the first to offer my deepest congratulations to the official class of 2022. We are now alumni of Centerville High School, and I wish you all the best and enjoy the day, your day of celebration with your family and friends. So if Student Council would please join me one time for the CHS alma mater. 